Yeah, Levy did it too. Yeah, this is a thing we're gonna just do for the next day or hour or century. Oh, how do I go from generic to the real deal? And just drop the first three letters of generic. Beth Harmon time. If you beat all eight levels, do you win a date with Beth? Uh, probably. But she's imaginary, right? Or she's just a robot, so I don't know. First step is beating level one. <laughs> okay, so um, this was announced earlier today, I think. And I have no idea how difficult these will be. There's eight years old, there's nine years old. She keeps getting older. So do I do I speed run Beth Harmon? Or do I do I take it slowly and just try and prove my my dominance, at least among like the lower levels? I'll start with yeah, I'll start with H8 and then we'll work our way up. We'll see how high we can go. And along the way, I'll try and play some tricky and fun maybe some dubious openings i'll try and get in at least a few queen's gambits and hopefully a stafford gambit and i don't know about a sodium attack i don't even know what that is but let's do this okay age eight let's go friendly wait what i don't think i'm gonna need help three three take backs and hints we're going to do challenge. I, I don't need any help, I don't think. Okay, let's do this. I'm white. Um, do I just go for like the dirty scholars mate? I'm trying to remember the first episode she just got made it in four moves, right? The, no, the first episode, you know what she played? I think it was um, bishop c4, knight c6. Queen h5, and then knight d4. So would she repeat that? Or has she already learned her lesson? Let's play this move. Oh, okay. I'm happy with this. Ha ha ha. This is a classic. Like, even real humans fall into this. This is a classic one. Wait, what? Don't trap my queen. Oh, that's actually kind of like... Almost disturbing. Thankfully, I have uh, I have a free pawn. At some point, I'll probably throw in a check. But let's continue expanding. Mm. Is she going to play queen b4? Oh, f6. Ben Feingold would be pleased. Okay, let's take this. Oh, the queen bong cloud. Novelty. Or maybe still theory. I don't know. What is this? Where's my mate? Oh, look at this. I'm going to get two queens. Yeah, so check here, here. No, wait, what? Oh, I forgot knights could move backwards. <laughs> I was so excited. Okay, I'll just take all of her pieces. What is bishop e5? Okay, maybe I should slow down. What? This is this is too much fun. I'm not proud of this game. I've, I've already made like a few oversights, but I can't complain. Threatening made in two. I wonder, is this a moment where I should walk away and announce made in two? No. Just calmly deliver it. Okay. I won a game. Thank you. Whatever your name was. Something bear. Subbing a tier one. Let's go. So quick chess lesson. Because I, there's probably a lot of new players. Like players new to chess. Or just getting into chess. That don't know about this. But most people, okay, most people know about like the four move checkmate, but not everyone knows how to actually respond to it as black. G6, it 
attacks a queen but loses a rook. So the best move here is knight c6. Can I analyze? How do I analyze? Analysis. Okay, so in this um in this position, g6 is uh is like the common mistake. Knight c6 best move, defend the pawn. And then bishop c4. Actually, my very first over the board tournament when I was eight years old, I had this position as black, and I played bishop c5, and I lost in four moves. <laughs> it was really sad. So if you're black here, you need to defend f7. Um, and I'll show a cool line. I'll show a line that even if like you're a decent player, you may have not seen before. Um, and we'll look from black side. Um, if, if you're, yeah, you, you shouldn't be doing this if you're white, unless you're playing against Beth Harmon, age eight. So the best move for black is g6, because now the pawn's defended. White will usually play queen f3, threatening mate again. And again, we have to defend. So I think in, in episode one of Queen's Gambit, Beth, oh, Beth had like this position and played knight d4. I believe, and then just got mated. A knight d4 like is normally a good move if it doesn't hang mate in one. The best move here is knight f6. And now there there is a way for white to continue attacking. It seems like, okay, now black's really safe, but there's a move, queen b3, creating a battery. I'm gonna give the question to chat Black to move? What would you play here? What's the strongest move? A lot of moves being suggested. D5 being suggested. King e7, reverse bond cloud. Knight d4, queen e7. Do I have the engine? Oh, I have the engine turned on. What? I thought I closed that. Oh, well, good job, chat, for reading the engine. <laughs> How do I turn off the engine? No. I could just hide I let me just hide it. Let me hide this thing. I don't need that thing. We we just need the board. Yeah, we're going minimal. Okay, this is better. So I can see the engine line, but chat can't. But good job. Knight d4. So we allow white to take on f7. Oh no, my scene. Oh no. Oh no, my pawn. But this time it's not mate, because we have king e7. And now white's in a situation where the queen's attacked, but the queen's also tied down to defending the bishop. And the only move to save the queen while still defending the bishop is queen c4. And now black to move. How does black win material from this position after tragically losing a pawn? Wow, Chad is finding it without even seeing the engine. Good job. Oh, but it's not d5. D5, uh, d5 maybe works, but there's bishop d5. But b5, yeah. So this is how you punish scholar's mate, or at least a scholar's mate attempt, is by developing your pieces, and then when the opportunity is right, you strike. And now you're attacking the queen, you're controlling all the squares along this diagonal, and you're gonna win the bishop. Now, there's one more bonus trap. Because um, if you get this to this position, white will kind of realize the fact that the bishop's gonna be lost. The natural move here is queen c3. Uh, we take the bishop, and now let's say d3. And this is a bonus tactic. Black to move win even more material. That's a nice tactic here. Experienced chess players will find the move pretty quickly for black. I'm curious, like, for more beginner chess players, how quickly they'll find it. Maybe they'll find it quickly if they're reading chat. Good job, chat. Oh, good job to Yash. Yash is, is naming the name of the tactic. So in this position, we're going to pork white. 
We're going to use a combination of a pin and a fork. It's a pork. We pin the queen. Now, the bishop's not defended by anything, but it's defended by tactics. So when white takes, we, we fork and we, we win the queen. Anyway, that's my lesson on, on scholar's mates. I think that this is a lesson that everyone should have like relatively early on in their, their chess journey. Because you should know you should know about the four move checkmate, but you should also know how to stop it. Can you skewer a pork dough? Can you skewer a pork? Uh, you would just need a stick, probably. You should put that on YouTube. Oh, good idea, very good idea. There were there were some technical hurdles, but uh, if this goes on YouTube, it's all thanks to eyes one one three two seven. So you two people say hi to Twitch chat and Twitch chat say hi to you two people. Here's Twitch chat. They're being so frog like, but also welcoming. Oh, so someone said hi, editor. Where's where was that? Hi, editor. The editor is me. I, I do all the editing, so. Uh, hello back. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Thanks for the cheer, but also the sub. Westy's good. And say hi to GM Derek, who is somewhere. And Gabadur Live and everyone else. What if I just leave? Like, what if I just make the YouTube video several minutes longer than necessary? And the rest of the video is just Twitch chat saying random stuff. And cheering random stuff. Hello, future peeps. Because then I would it would increase watch time. But would people actually watch this? I don't know. I'm really not sure. But thanks, people, for being so chattery. Yeah, I, I could add like an extra ad. Or I could just put an ad at the end of the video. 